Good evening, everyone. This evening, we are going to talk about SSR, Mrs. Students' Social Responsibility. We all know about uh, corporate social responsibility and the social corporate responsibility, but we have never discussed about student social responsibility. That is the biggest responsibility laid on the shoulders of the students. Students, students don't mean just they can attend the college or university and they earn degree from there and then they go out and they earn bread and butter with the help of this degree. No, that's not it. There is more to it than meets the eye. <clears throat> there are lots more that students are expected by the society to perform. So many responsibilities are laid on their shoulders. So many things they are expected to do to transform the society, transform the world into a better society and a better world. And that is why <clears throat> SSR will tell us what are the primary responsibilities of all the students to perform without any kind of ifs or buts. I have actually created four words, uh, sorry, four sentences, four points to elaborate this SSR for all the students, and I would expect them to heed, pay proper heed, and try to emulate, try to follow the life according to these uh, only four topics, four principles. <clears throat> Point number one is to transform the society from dystopia to utopia. <clears throat> Social order is in Malays. Societies are in Malay. Societies don't actually function properly. Violence, insurrections, protests, rebels, terrorism, all kinds of ills contemporary colloquial society has been experiencing and Students are expected to transform all that, to change all that for the better. Create better society. Create the society without any kind of tantrums. Turn the society into utopian society or Ram Rajya. From dystopian society or Raman Rajya. Global society, not only in India, global society, if you take a deep and a hard look, you're going to find out that all kinds of tantrums are going on. Violence and the rebels and the terrorism and the insurrections and the looting and the scooting and the all kinds of protest. Nowhere you can find peace and the tranquility. Because students, the students are actually missing their responsibilities. They are actually derelicting their responsibility. They are shirking their responsibility of doing something for the society. Sometimes students actually partake. They become the part and the parcel of this kind of insurrections and violence. <clears throat> now, it is the responsibility, first and foremost responsibility, of every student to use education in a proper way. Don't abuse it, don't misuse it but use it in a proper way to create the better society for themselves and the better society for the posterity. Point number two is to transform the self from Delta to Alpha. <clears throat> Students have to, have to transform themselves from Delta and Epsilon or Gamma to Alpha and Beta best examples of human being. They have to become alpha people. They have to become meritocratic, aristocratic. They have to become law-abiding citizen of the nation to uphold the law, uphold the humanity, and uphold the morality of the human race. They do every single thing as a student to transform every single thing in, into better form, from birth to great and best. 
they should actually become themselves alpha people in the society. Alpha people, not epsilon or not delta, but alpha people in the society to achieve their goal, to achieve their objective, to achieve their mission, achieve their target. Point number three is to transform the world from tantrums to tranquility. World, as we know, everywhere in every society, in the Western countries or Eastern countries, you are going to find the same thing. People have gone totally bizarre. People have gone totally, totally absurd. There's a mind-boggling that people all over the world, including Europe and America, the, who are known as highly pruned and groomed, civilized, sophisticated people, have actually gone totally nerd, have totally gone nitwit, and totally violent type of people who do not actually have any kind of any kind of respect or honor for the rules and regulations of the nation. Trivial thing like vaccine, they have been taking to the street and destroying the their nation. They are burning the buildings. They are looting the malls. Everywhere in Kazakhstan to Europe to America to Canada, everywhere you see the people have actually lost their sense. They have become totally insane, totally insane. They resort to violence. They have become radical, totally violent type of radical, terrorist type of mentality they have actually cultivated. And now here, the role of the students should be to create the tranquil society, make every single thing tranquil, to create a better society, habitable society, peaceful society of peacenik people who actually abide by the law, abide every single thing, abide by the norms of the society, and never actually resort to any kind of violent, uncivilized, barbaric ways of living. Point number four, to transform men from homo sapiens to homo sapiens. Homo sapiens. Homo sapiens means those people who are freeloaders. They live on the charity. They are public charged. They don't actually earn good amount of money to feed themselves or feed their families, but they actually go around ex extending their hands for the for the arms for the charity for some kind of pen handling. This kind of homo people should be transformed into homo sapiens so that everybody becomes productive, everybody becomes creative, everybody becomes pruned and groomed in the society, everybody is educated, everybody contributes something in the society, everybody earns his living and livelihood by honest and diligent means and nobody but nobody goes out extending his or her hands for any kind of charity, any kind of free things or any kind of any kind of alms from the people. No freeloaders, no beggars, no pen handlers, only hardworking, honest, credible, incredible type of educated people who are there to build the society, only to make the society and not mar the society, construct the nations, not destruct the nation. That is the fundamental role of the education and the primary role of students in their social responsibility. So that's all the time we have. Thank you very much. See you again next time. Until then, God bless every student on this planet and the rest of us. Bye.